The final race from day two um, is on the national line is a three mile two maiden chase. One is Acasta Malbus, Darren Thompson. Two, three is a newcomer, Bobby King Grove, Sue Gray. Glenn Fire Fred, Lost, also a newcomer for Ace Jerry, Lord Cowell, Bradley Cogan, Mr. Wiseman, Stu Gray, Screaming Elmer, James Shea, Watchtower, Point, Graham Clutterbuck, Anna Carolina, James Shea, and Blackburn Steel, David Robertson, all newcomers. Ron Wen Kelly, David Robertson, Brooks Ch Chine, Darren French, Catherine Legay, Paul Rhodes, Leo's Holiday, Alex Cherry, Manic Monday, Patrick Cogan, and Isaac Daisy, Fanny Gerald. We have a really good horse in this field, Catherine the Great, so if any of the newcomers can get close to that, then uh, they possibly have a group one horse, and away they go. So the big fairy job probably be Catherine the Great who's placed in group ones and it's Ozark Daisy for Vinnie Jarrow to lead from Leo's Holland on the inside. Out wide is a Castor Malbus. Then comes Watchtower, uh, the favourite Catherine the Great behind that. On the rail is a Blackburn Steel, followed by Brooks Schoen, uh, followed by then, then comes Barbican Grove and Mr. Wiseman for Stu Gray. The yellow on the inside is Lord Cal for Patrick Hogan and the yellow colours out wide is Manic Monday. Then comes Anna Carolina for James Shea with Screaming Elmer just behind that. Uh, Bron McKelly in the other back of the field and Glant, Glantfly uh, Fred Hot. Then for Fred Hot for Alex Cherry is the trailer. They jump the next and taking them along is a Castor Malbus for Darren Thompson. From Manic Monday is moved up into second out wide. Leo's Holiday is on the inside as they jump the next, so jump by the leader. Uh, in between horses going well enough is Watchtower. Up near the inside is Lord Cal with Mr. Wiseman out wide. Just behind that is Barbican Grove. On the rail is Ozak Daisy. Then comes Screaming Elmo and Anna, and Anna Carolina just behind that. The two Darren Thompson horses to go, Terry Robinson horses together, Blackman Steel and Bronwyn Kelling, as they pass the Winnie Post for the first time. And that's the Castor Malbus leads from Barbican Grove out wide. Between horses, Manic Monday on the rail is Leo's Holiday for Alex Cherry. Then comes Watchtower for Graham Clatterback, followed by Lord Cal. Catherine the Great, the favourite, is uh, trapped wide. Then on the inside is Ozark Daisy, Mr. Wise Man, just behind that, followed by Screaming Elmo, Anna Carolina, just behind his stable mate. Then comes Blackburn Steel and Bron McKinley, the two David Robertson horses, followed by Brookshion, that's um, Darren French is also at the back of the field. We have Glenn Fire Fred Lot for Alex Cherry. So a Castor Malba still the leader for Darren Thompson. Jumps the next well for me second Leo's holiday. Then comes Manic Monday on the outside of Watchtower for Graham Clutterbuck. On the inside there's Lord Cal. Out wide is the favourite Catherine the Great for Paul Rhodes. Then comes Stu Gray's Barbican Grove. They're followed by Watchtower, who's dropped a few places. Then comes Mr. Wiseman. David Robertson also moved close. We have a faller there, and Blackburn Steel is gone. One of David Robertson's horses is gone, Blackburn Steel. Brooke Sharon is near the back of the field for Darren French, and Glen Fire Fredlot is the trailer for Alex Cherry as Acasta Malbus takes him along. Manic Monday in second. Catherine the Great in third for Paul Rhodes, followed by Lord Cowell for Patrick Hogan. Between horses is Watchtower just behind that. On the outside there is Barbican Grove. Then comes Screaming Echo for James Shea, who's on the outside of Leo's Holiday, who's dropped a few places. Leo's Holiday, Ozek Daisy, just behind that on the rail. On the outside there is Mr. Wiseman. Then comes Bronwyn Kellin for David Robertson, who's on the outside of Anna Caroline for James Shea. Book showing for Darren French in the back of the field. Glen Fire Fredlot. So Castor Malbus leads. Still 13 fences left to go. A long way to go, yeah. From in second, Manic Monday. Catherine the Great, travelling well. The favourite back in third. On the other one's inside is uh, Lord Cowell. Then comes Watchtower with Barbican Grove for Stu Gray on the outside of Leo's Holiday. The Grey Horse, who's moved through the back of the field, is Brooke Schoen. Then comes Ozak Daisy, Screaming Elmo on the inside of Brooke Schoen. Then comes Anna Caroline for James Shea. They jump the next. Anna Faller there. A Castor Malbus has gone. The long time leader Darren French, a Castor Malbus has gone. He was being joined by some horses. He's fallen as they approach the Winnie Post for the second jump and jump the water, which is the last jump. Yeah, in the league in the, in the, at Ludlow, but clearly is not the case in reality. So the two Patrick Hogan horses take them along now. Lord Cowell on the inside of Manic Monday. Then comes Watchtower for Graham Clutterbuck. Catherine the Great, the favourite going well in. 
at 1930, it's just past Watchtower. Bobby can grow behind that. Then the grey horse, Puxione, was, a, was a, at the back of the field early on. He's moved right up into contention. On the road is Jose Daisy. Then comes Leo's Holiday. The two James Shea horses together, screaming on one Anna Caroline. Bronwyn Cunning behind that for David Robertson. Mr. Wiseman on that one's inside and in the back of the field where he's always been is Glenfire Fred Lot. They've got about eight fillers left to travel the outlet alone. They jump the next and Manic under the leader from Watchtower. But Catherine the Great goes well in third. Leo's Holiday has now moved forward up into fourth. Then comes Brooke Shown, who's going well up in the outside. And behind that is Ozak Daisy. Another faller there. I think it's Anna Caroline's gone. Anna Caroline's gone for. James Shea, the jumper next, and Leo's Holiday has come to the front, but Catherine the Great is going really well up on the inside. Brookshown also is moving through to the back of the field and is travelling really well as well. Starting to drop back now is Manning's Monday. On the inside is Watchtower, the jump the next. Bronwyn Kelling is moved through from the back of the field and started attaches himself to this leading pack, but it's Brookshown who leads now from on the inside Catherine the Great. Then comes... Um, Leo's holiday in between horses. On the rail is Watchtower. Ozak Daisy just behind that. On the outside trying to run on his Bronwyn Kelly and they got four fillers left to travel and it's on the it's Leo's holiday. Leo's Brooks show and the grey horse. Catherine the Great going well for Paul Rose out wide. Here comes um, Bronwyn Kelly for David Robertson. Watchtower still right there. Ozak Daisy starting to struggle. It's Brooks showing for Darren French. Catherine the Great though. The favourite on the inside is uh, moving forward to challenge and it's Brooks showing and Catherine the Great out wide. Bronwyn Kelly is trying to run on. Catherine the Great to the jump the Next, and Catherine the Great drops it well. At what Bronwyn Kelly is putting down a persistent challenge now. It's Catherine the Great and Bronwyn Kelly the jump. But next, Catherine the Great on the inside, Bronwyn Kelly on the outside. Brooke Sharon is just behind that. Catherine the Great and, and Bronwyn Kelly. Then comes Brooke Sharon the jump. The next, and it's Catherine the Great who leads now for Paul Rose. And Catherine the Great, the group one pace horse, is going away from this field. There's a jump. And there's Catherine the Great, Bronwyn Kelly, and trying to challenge with Brooke Sharon. But Catherine the Great has too much class for this field. And Catherine the Great for Paul Rhodes with half. For Fuller left to go is going to win the maiden at uh, Ludlow. Catherine the Great, Brooke Shane is throwing out a persistent challenge on the outside. Catherine the Great holds on. And a great run there by Brooke Shane for Darren French. Considering that Catherine the Great is a Group 1 placed horse, that is a brilliant run by Brooke Shane. Uh, I think that's a newcomer. So Catherine the Great wins, the favourite wins for Paul Rhodes. And the newcomer is in second, Brookshan for Darren French. You've got to watch that one. It might be a, a threat in the Gold Cup. But Bron McKillian was third for David Robertson. Another newcomer, Leo's Holiday, back in fourth for Alex Cherry. That ran a good race. And Watchtower for Graham Clara was back in fifth. So the Group 1 place, North Catherine the Great, wins the last on day two at Ludlow.